Hello, I'm Doug Flynn, and welcome to Kentucky Life. We're here at Wilcut Guitars in Lexington, and I've heard some of my musician friends say that Wilcut's is a guitarist guitar store. We'll find out what that means when we talk with Bob Wilcut a little bit later. All right, I'm here with Bob Wilcut. Let me tell you something, Bob. I, I've been wanting to learn how to play guitar. So I came in the other day, I looked around some of these wonderful selections that you have. Help me out here. What would I start with? And tell me what you would do if you were me. Well, time is moving on. We're not getting any younger. <laughs> so if you want to play guitar, get something good. Yep. And uh, here's a for instance. All righty. This is for, what am I looking at here? Uh, that's a Bob Dylan model Gibson. And that falls into the collectible and oh. investment category, besides being a great guitar. So in my hands, probably not too much. But in your hands, it would probably sound pretty good. Well, it's to the opinion. <laughs> a lot of songs have been written with one or two chords. Wow. Thanks, buddy. All right. Thanks. Hey, we're here at Wilcutt's Guitar. Bob, when I think of guitars around this area, or just in general, I think of you and this store, and how many years you've been doing this now? Well, going on 50 years now. Wow! You and I were talking about guitars change, and we got some beautiful ones behind us, and when you look at all the acoustic, but you told me the longer that you play them, the better they seem to get. Well, they sound different. Some of, some of the greatest guitars ever are still being made today. Mm -hmm. um, Martin and Taylor and some of the others have tried to cull these old techniques, uh, the hide glue, the, uh, the way the necks are fitted, things like that, that brings in some of the old craftsmanship. And the old woods do have their own sound. They're trying to synthesize that now with mm -hmm. torrified woods, where they cook them to get the resins baked out. That sort of sounds like the old ones. So they're getting closer. <laughs> they're getting closer. Well, where'd your love for guitars come from? Well, I guess I started playing when I was around 12, and I saw mm -hmm. saw somebody on stage, uh -oh. and I said, oh, my goodness, that's where I want to be. That's that's it. Chicks like guys with guitars, right? Yeah, well, don't tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, it's a whole lot of fun, and it's been a great ride, and um, made a lot of people happy. Well, you've had a lot of great guitarists come through this store. Mm -hmm. Just name a few of them that uh, you've kind of dealt with over the years. Well, we've, we've sold to Eddie Van Halen. He came wow. through on his first tour. Uh, Kiss, we had helped uh, outfit one of their tours in the 70s. Mm -hmm. uh, Nazareth, Joe Walsh has bought a couple guitars from us. Um, J.J. Kale recently, just before wow. he died. Uh, one of my of favorites. Fun. We've got a lot of pretty good pickers around this town too, don't we? Oh yeah, we have great pickers. Uh, this Kentucky's always had great talent. Yeah. Uh, and when you think of Kentucky, we always think of thoroughbred horses. We think of uh, the Kentucky Derby, of course, Kentucky basketball. We got some pretty good guitar makers too, don't we? Oh yeah, and of course Homer Ledford was the uh, the one who started all of this. I think yeah. he's the most famous. Uh, a lot of people still look back to his work as an inspiration. Well, we're going to hang out in your store a little bit today and talk a little bit more, but thank you for having us by here. Well, thanks, Doug. It's an Appreciate honor to see you, and, and this is absolutely wonderful. Well, thanks, Doug. All right, buddy.